Hello and welcome to Unit 4 of Week 2. This unit is dedicated to Insight to Action examples. So after I have shown you how overview, page, how overview pages and dashboards allow you to monitor your business performance on a high level and how you can then analyze your business figures in detail using the multi-dimensional analysis pattern both with the web and the Excel client, I will show you today from a business user perspective how you can leverage those analytical capabilities to take the appropriate action in your daily work. So the objectives of this unit are that you understand that analytical assets are seamlessly connected into the operational world in SAP Business by Design. You will understand how you can leverage analytical assets, assets in the context of your daily work and you will know how the important building blocks of built-in analytics contribute to insight-driven and intelligent processes. So the overall goal of this unit is to understand that built-in analytics is not an isolated reporting tool with abstract, abstract figures, but paves the path towards insight-driven processes. So the great benefit of analytics in SAP Business by Design is that it is built in. All reports and KPIs are based on data sources and those data sources are based on the underlying business documents. As a consequence, built-in analytics allows the business user to navigate from any analytical asset to the underlying business document and therefore allows him to apply his analytical findings to the operational world, taking quick action based on profound insights. So I would like to shortly introduce you to the new interactive analysis option as their contribution to our insight to action journey is huge. The interactive analysis options make it very simple for the business user to quickly filter the data in reports according to their specific business questions. So in charts, for example, you can now display numbers, you can make use of semantic coloring of key figures which allows you to make your reports more meaningful and you can make use of interactive legends showing only those key figure values which you are interested in. We improve the access descriptions and labeling and the interactive zoom enables the business user to focus on specific numbers. But there are not only improvement for charts but also for tables. On char characteristic columns you have filter options similar to Microsoft Excel now on key figure columns, you can quickly adjust the settings and probably most important, you can filter, drill down, go to navigation targets and execute operational actions directly out of the report using the cell filters. To demonstrate you the close integration of built-in analytics and your operational business processes, I now would like to show you some typical, typical insight to action scenarios. I first of all want to show you how you can leverage the benefits of integrated navigation targets. Secondly, I'm going to show you how built-in analytics is already embed, embedded in your operational UIs, which we call embedded reporting. And last but not least, I will show you how you can even execute actions out of the reports. So let's take a look into the system. So we lock on as the CEO of the company and let's assume that Catherine Kennedy Woods wants to get a better understanding of the sales um, situation of her company. So for that she has set up on the home overview page some KPIs and report cards which help her to analyze um, uh, her business performance on a high level and here she has set up this sales order volume report uh, which gives her an overview how active her customers are. So if we go in the sales order volume report, we can quickly use the Zoom to get a better understanding of the customers which are not that active. There are quite some customers of category, category 3, which means they haven't ordered for more than 200 days already. And here she realizes that um, customer William and Son um, yeah, has quite a high order volume of 92,000 uh, US dollar, but he hasn't, um, um, he has not uh, ordered uh, for almost a year now. 
So she switches to the table for a few to analyze the data further in detail. And here she has the option to make use of the interactive filtering I was talking about. So she goes to Williams and Son, uh, filters for Williams and Son and adds another field. So she's interested in the uh, related sales order ID. So we search for the sales order ID and add it to our filter. And then you directly see that the table gets filtered accordingly. On the header, we can now specify that we only want to see the ID for the sales order, for example. And from there, um, yeah, we see that uh, Williams and Son only had one sales order during the last year. So we take a closer look at this sales order by going to the navigation targets and view the sales order um, overview. We see that this has been an analyzer implementation project. And if we cl click on more, we see the whole document flow of this project. If we choose to see the extended view, we even see more information. Catherine gets a good understanding what has been uh, done in this project. And as a side effect, she realizes that some costs of the project haven't been invoiced yet. So she returns to the sales order volume report and wants to take a closer look at the um, costs which have been invoiced. So again, she goes to the sales order itself, navigates to the navigation targets and uses a report report navigation to the associated um, invoice volume report. So she has to specify the date for the currency conversion applies her changes and then she sees what has been invoiced for sales order 3334. Um, only 40,000 US dollar have been invoiced so far. So she realizes there she has an issue. Um, of course, when going back to the sales order volume report, she can also navigate to uh, Microsoft Excel as this is her preferred, preferred working environment. So via share navigate to Microsoft Excel. She opens up a new worksheet and we have to log on again quickly because we're not using a certificate here. Um, yeah. Excel comes up. We log on as the CEO again. And we directly see that the report with the respective filtering and the sales order added is taken over to Microsoft Excel. Again, from here, we also have the options to use the navigation targets. If we click on the cell of the sales order, we have the, um, let me make it big. And we can also navigate to the, um, clicking on the sales order cell, we can also navigate to this report, report navigation in Microsoft Excel. And again, we have to specify as in the web browser, the conversion date and the data is applied and we see the same results in Microsoft Excel. So returning um, to the sales order volume uh, report and to the sales order overview we just navigated to, we saw that um, the employee responsible for that, um, for that project was Victoria Brennan. So what we do now, we create a quick task for Victoria and ask her to follow up on the sales order three, 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 four with our financial employee, Edward. So we could save this note and then a, a quick task would um, come up on the launch pad of Victoria Brennan's screen with the context, uh, context, uh, contextual information already available. So Victoria wouldn't need to search for any associated documents but has all the information already included in her task and can follow up on it. So returning to the sales order volume report, let's assume that Catherine wants to get a better understanding of the customer Williams and Son. So from here, she can click on the account, go to the navigation targets and view the account overview of this customer. And in the next step, I want to show you the um, concept of embedded reporting. So for example, in the corporate account overview, but also in other uh, 
overview pages, you have the um, ability, the possibility to make use of embedded reporting. We have a report here which we can choose, um, where we can choose to see another view. So in our case, Catherine wants to understand a bit more the buying behavior of the customer. So we see that this customer um, orders um, yeah, about every year and then uh, with a quite high order volume. And we have associated reports which might be helpful in this context as well. So in your business documents, you get help from embedded reporting to really base your decisions um, on real-time figures. So, um, yeah, as Catherine already saw that she has some customers which have been quite inactive for a while, uh, she realizes that she wants to um, create a target group, uh, group for a marketing campaign to activate those customers again. So she quickly clears the filter for the account and um, takes out the sales order. She can do that here as well. The sales order field is not interesting for her anymore. She could say that she wants to create a marketing campaign based on uh, customers of um, category two and three, which haven't been active for more than 90 days. So she, so she can apply actually a value filter. I set one up already, but we take a look at it. We want to see all um, inactive customers based on the key figure active customers, and we want to see the account with it. We want to see all equal um, uh, category three, and we want also see the ones of category two. So we add them quickly, we activate it, and we see that our table gets adopted right away. And from here, Catherine could choose just any um, account, go to the navigation targets and execute an action. She exports all accounts to the new target group. You see directly this new target group is created in Business by Design. She can save it and informs her marketing uh, uh, department about the campaign so that they, they can take the appropriate action. So let us quickly recap the key learnings of this unit. Built-in analytics allows you to analyze, drill down, and interactively ask business questions. Built-in analytics gives business users great um, confidence in the figures they see in reports as they all refer to the underlying business documents. Built-in analytics helps the business user to apply analytical findings to their daily decisions, decision-making, and processes. So thank you for your attention and have a good day.